Hi guys, I thought you'd enjoy watching my Act 5 of Deathless Mode with my high level character and while you're enjoying that I'll answer some of your recent questions. So the first question is from TGM and he asks after he beats the worker does he have to beat all the acts again or can he continue? Well it's both, you continue but you do have to beat the acts again and the map resets and that way you get higher level bosses the next time through. Lord1337 asks about the dragon gem. Well basically if you equip it when the dragon arrives the dragon will stay longer so you can get more of his health down or her health down and you'll end up getting to the kill quest once you have the health down low enough. Just Splash asks how to find Alsar. Well I've got a video about that with how to find Pisces Dragon and Alsar is in the same act at the end of it. So if you check that out you'll find out. But basically you need to beat the Plains of Karoth with Issa by defeating Zalsara and then both Drems Moor and the Dark Citadel will appear on the map and Alsar is at the end of the Dark Citadel quest and you fight that with Cyrus. Jumar Pata is wondering how to get bonus combos with the Keldru. The way to do it is you equip one or two bonus combo minus one gems and that way the last one or two arrows will come off the Keldru bonus combo sequence and that means you can swipe diagonally down left and you'll get a bonus combo every hit with the Keldru and if you have one bonus combo minus one gem equipped then the bonus combos will start after four hits but if you have two equipped then they'll start after three hits. Byron Duquesne asks what level I am. Well with Cyrus I believe I got up to level 940 something during this Act 5 and I'm around the same with Issa. My gear level is 70 and that's why I'm completing the deathless mode so that I can upgrade my gear level more. Furious God asks what's the language in IB1? It's Pangean, which was created by the chair company who made the game. Nikki Kwon 2 asks if it's possible to upgrade the Origin armor, and that's because it arrives at level 10. Yes, you can, but you need to complete Deathless mode, and you have to complete all the acts and quests and beat the worker in Deathless mode, and then you can upgrade to level 15 and if you complete four more deathless mode quests and again that's all of them beating the worker four more times then you can upgrade your gear to level 20 and after that each five times you beat the deathless mode worker you can upgrade your gear another five levels and i have a video about that and i'll put links to the videos i mentioned in the description under this video Tyson Dan asks how I have so much gold. Well again I've got videos on how to get gold and the best tip for new players is to keep opening that chest at Larioth when you play it with Issa and it's the one on the moat after the second titan and you can return to the hideout and go back to Larioth and that gives the most gold. But the way I did it was through equipping hexagon bonus gold gems and opening chests and having fights with those gems equipped and that way you get a lot of gold but also the higher level you are the more gold you get and of course I've completed a lot of tournaments and clash mobs that give gold and also the arena will give you gold too. Fang asks why his dark fire gem has 2100 attack when equipped in a solar trance. Well that's the benefit of the solar trance, it will boost the attack of your element gems 
and the higher the solar trans level the more the boost and if you equip two of the same element it gives an extra boost and again I've got that covered in a video all about solar trans so you can check that out. Mrs Bobora asked whether the worker's armour is actually Thane's armour and that will be Thane from IV2. Yes I had another look and it is very close especially the helmet but there is a slight difference so no the worker has his own unique armour. Another question from Nikki Kwan too. He asks, how do you get a capped element gem, the 400? Well, what you do is you fuse three lower ones together of the same type. And that way you'll get a higher level element gem. And I've got a video on how to fuse capped gems. So check out the link in the description. V Thoki asks whether he can upgrade his dark fire with the 500 fire gem that he got from the map of Ash and Sorrow. No, you can't. <laughs> and I've got a video on how to upgrade your dark fire. So again, check that out in the, the link in the description under this video. And what it is, is you have to use capped element gems. To upgrade the dark fire and a 500 is a rare gem so that's higher than capped but cap gems are 400 normal and 750 indoor or outdoor element gems Gavin Tan asks how to make the characters dance well that is under the customize option on your character screen and if you tap one of the options on the right you'll find the dancing towards the last few options and I've got a video covering that which goes through all the customize options so again check the link in the description under this video and another question from Gavin Tan he asks what does blunt magic do it does weaken the enemy's attack and you get less damage where if you get hit. Max Suwan Prasit asked why his Tamil ring doesn't have a slot for him to equip an attack gem and he's upgraded it to level 6. Well it's likely you need to upgrade it higher. You'll get all star slots when you upgrade it to level 10 and then you can equip any gem in a star slot as long as it's not a weapon specific gem. Byron Duquesne couldn't find the tourney on his map. Well, if you're ever missing a tournament or a clash mob, what you want to do is enable cloud save and then tap the training golem and come back out and the clash mobs and tourneys should be on your map. Nikki Kwan asks if you need to use Jewel to beat Reef. No, you can fight him with any of the solar trans, light, heavy or dual, but it does have to be a solar trans. And also he couldn't find Wreath at Larioth for Issa. Well, you've got to make sure you've equipped the solar trans before you start the act. And if he's still not there, then you may have defeated him with Cyrus in Act 5 in which case finish at five and in your next go round you'll find him for Isa at Lariel. Andromeda asks when should he equip the Dark Fire because he keeps upgrading it. I actually waited until it was at maximum and I used the second one that was lower and just kept upgrading one of them. And once it was maximum, then I swapped and started upgrading the second one. Mr. Cupcake Man asks how to get the Solar Trans Jewel for Cyrus. You get it from beating Wreath. Fancy Octopus is having trouble getting the Blackfire map from Meteor's Observatory. And what I'd say is contact Chair and let them know that's help at infinityblade.com 
Ender Force 06 asks, what does a break window mean and what does it do? Well, that's when you have your opportunity to fight against the Titan. So when you've got a parry break or dodge break or block break, that's the break window. And my advice is to go mainly for dodge breaks because they are longer, especially if you have a Titan break or one or more Titan break gems equipped. Rosie Sajad asks how I have so many dark fire gems and how did I get the spectrum gem? Well, the spectrum gem's been offered three times now in clash mobs and tourneys. And the dark fire gem, yes, there's only two in the game, but there's been four others offered in, again, clash mobs and tourneys and once as a gift at Christmas. So I have got a video covering everything about dark fires so I suggest you check that out and I've put the link in the description under this video. Grim Reaper Games Netherland asks if you get 100% defense if you stack two 50% defense gems. Yes that's right you do they stack so that would give you 100%. Blackjack asks how do you find the collector? Well he does appear randomly around the world but if you've been playing quite a bit and he's not appearing for you, then beat at five and defeat the worker. And in your next playthrough, he will appear. Pat Alfesh asks how to get star slots so that she can equip the fire gem. Well, you've just got to upgrade the gear. And as I mentioned earlier, once your gear gets to level 10, your all your gem slots will become star slots. Lenub asks about the blue round gem that's in my infantry. Um, that was actually a glitch prize but I kept it because it's rare and it was a prize for a not casual Friday clash mob quite a while ago now. But you can't equip it because it is a glitch. Alex Bamberger asks if you can upgrade the spectrum attack gem no you can't it's mainly used because of its graphic effects that are unique and look really great and you'll have been seeing me use it in this playthrough but no you can't upgrade it unfortunately big ching asks if you can fuse two 200 gems together that are different elements yes you can and you will get a capped element gem but you won't know which element it will be. So if you specifically want, say, fire, then you need to fuse two fires together. And if they're 200, you would get a capped fire gem. But if you don't mind which element gem they are, because you're using them to, say, upgrade the dark fire, then any element gems you can use, and you'll get the capped element gem and I've got a video about fusing capped element gems to upgrade the dark fire. So check out the link in the description under this video. Noah Richards asks how I have four and a half thousand chips on my low level character. Um, mainly it's from Aegis Tawnies and Clash Mobs. That's how I've been gathering quite a lot of chips for that new character slot. Dylan McGough asks whether he can buy the gear that's shown in the customized menu because he's only at level 6. Yes you can, if you've got enough gold then yes you can buy those gear sets that are shown in the customized friends menu and you'll have that good equipment early on. McGlubbin Fishworth asks what gear I recommend for fighting the collector and does he have lower damage in comparison to other titans of that level? Yes he does, that's what I've noticed, although sometimes he doesn't, so you have to be careful. And with the gear, I always go for gear that has bonus combos every hit, and so I have bonus combo minus one gems equipped, and if you haven't got many of those gems, then don't put it in the weapon just in case you don't win. But I've got a video on the best attack 
year and also tips on defeating the collector. The main thing you want is a health potion. So check out those videos. Andrew X asks about the Tamil ring and my channel being called Tamil. The ring was named after me actually uh, quite a while ago uh, in an update the ring was changed to my name so that was a great honour for me and I was really happy that Chair decided to do that and it, they also changed the spells to ones that I wanted as well so that was really great so I've come to the end so I hope you enjoyed watching Act 5 and seeing the Gold King and the Worker defeated Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages. Thanks, see you next time.